Hi, welcome to a video, and today I'm going to show you how I programmed this. Um, right now it's using Dijkstra's algorithm, and Dijkstra's algorithm is a very useful algorithm when you want to find the shortest path between two points, and it's used a lot in satnavs. So here is the code I wrote for Dijkstra's algorithm. It's not too complex, and it's relatively short but I'd highly recommend to watch my previous video about maze generating algorithms because I used the code from that video to generate algorithms to solve and the link for this code is in the description and so is the link for my previous video on generating algorithms so firstly I'm gonna talk you through how that algorithm actually works and essentially what it's doing is just finding the fastest route from A to B. Now firstly, the algorithm searches the maze. And this, what it does is, imagine you, you're forcing water in from A so that it fills the whole maze. And it goes through all of the, all of the routes at the same time. And when it's doing that, it, it's assigning essentially the time it's taken to get to each square with a number, a weight. So we start off at A, and instead of using water, let's say we use a virtual robot, for example. And we say its, it's weight is 1, but we start at 1. So it looks all of the squares it can go into. It can, go, it can only go into the top one. And that's assigned a 2, because it's 1 away from 1. And this process repeats until the maze is full. And now we get to a, um, a place where there can be two possible routes. So what the robot does is it replicates itself and goes down both of them at the same time. So now these will both be assigned a 5 and the both robots search at the same time. And these are all 6. And it does it again. Now if we were going to the top right corner, we could stop searching the maze now, because um, we've searched to an extent that we found the destination, and that's all we need to find the route. But just for completeness, I'm going to finish it off. So they all move into a new square. But the top middle robot can't because it's in a dead end. So what it does is it basically annihilates itself and stops searching. And it goes. And now the maze has been completely searched and all of these robots disappear because they can't go anywhere else. Now, to find the root from these numbers, what we do is, this might seem ambiguous, but we start at the finishing point. And I thought it was, this was the most simple way to do it. And then we just backtrack our steps using the numbers. So the search method is basically like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, and we're going to follow them back to where we came from to create the root. So we, what we do is we see, is there a is there a square of six we can go into, and there is there a five we can go into? Because right now I'm in a six. Yes, there is. We can't go the one on the left here because there's a wall in the way. So we need to take that into consideration when we're programming the root finder. 
and it keeps doing this until we get to restarting point. And there's the finished route. So here's a little demonstration using the turtle to show you how the algorithm searches the maze. And the darker the green dot gets, the further away, the higher its distance is from where it started. And it just shows you how the algorithm fills out the maze. And it will stop when all of it's been searched. Then the route is simply printed out by the turtle. This isn't in real time though, it's just slow down so we can look at it nicely. So now I'm just going to briefly talk you through my code. And this is um, the code of the maze generating functions that I talked about in the previous video. So if you want to check those out, check out the other video, the link's in the description. But here is the functions and procedures I used for the maze solver algorithm. So firstly we have the search function, this one here. And basically it creates the array, starts in the bottom left corner and does the search by having um, a list with all the current nodes in it and every single time it checks can it go into another node from that node. Node is basically a square in this context. And then it removes the node that it just went from and the process keeps repeating until all of the all of the blocks have been visited in the maze. And this is the root function here. So remember it starts at the top right, then backtracks like following a trail of breadcrumbs. And each one of these is just checking to see is this the right square, is this the right square? So looking top, bottom, right and left. And each time there should always be a correct square. And it chooses that square and adds it to an array called root coordinates which holds the coordinates the directions that the robot needs to take and the root coordinates list is used by this function here to display where the root goes so this is just a turtle function telling it to go to certain squares in certain orders to make the root directions. This here is just encoding how big the how blocky the line needs to be relating to how big the maze is. And that's basically it. So thank you for watching the video and I hoped it's inspired you to check out creating a maze algorithm yourself. And I'd love it if you left a like and subscribe and maybe watch my other video on how the maze was generated. Thank you.